Hello everybody, this is Expansiveness of Light. My name is Brian and today I would like to share some personal experiences I've been having and have been having for quite some time of feeling the energies of Mother Earth uh, because she is an alive being, a live soul that has been giving us humans an, uh, a way to experience physical life. And also the sun. The sun is also an alive being, a conscious being. And it's been happening quite some time, years maybe, that I can feel, once I start to really connect with Mother Earth, I can feel vibrational frequencies coming up into my body. And she does help us to ground into this present moment to get out of the head. Uh, so really one of the things that was the, the most, um, well, two things. One was uh, maybe a year ago, I was bringing in the light with someone uh, to do healing work for them. And I said something to Mother Earth. I thanked her for her service, for gifting humanity uh, life, uh, physical life here, and said she could go ahead with her own ascension process. And ascension is what we all are going through, even if we're not aware of it. It's ascending from a lower consciousness of density to a higher state of consciousness. Uh, hopefully going fully to God consciousness, uh, Christ consciousness, about the heart, about oneness, about that there is no separation between any of us or anything. And when I said I, you know, gave her permission, like I, I said, you can go ahead with your, your ascension. Uh, you've been so patient with humanity for quite some time. Uh, even when I say that, I feel an energy right now, but, uh, she, I felt this energetic hug around me, uh, and I just felt all this love and it, it just, it, it just was so neat. It's, it's kind of surreal because we're so programmed to see ourselves as separate, uh, see ourselves as physical, but in truth, we are all energetic beings. Everything is the consciousness of the Creator. Everything is connected. So the only reason why, I know I've said this before, but I need to probably say it again, the only reason why people are needing to label things, identify things, uh, have a belief of separation, uh, that God is up here, um, that God's not here, it's up here, that Jesus is up here, uh, is because of the left brain. It's that logical side of the brain. It's, it's a, it's gives us that, that experience of separation, uh, individuality. And in truth, nothing is separate from each other. Uh, Jesus, uh, Christ consciousness is within us if we, if we tap into it and God is within us. And there, in truth, there is no us. It is only God. Uh, and so, you know, Mother Earth is God. The Son is God. However, they also have individual uh, identities in a way like us humans. And so she gave me an energetic hug, like confirming and saying thank you so much and I love you. Then, about maybe two weeks ago, I went out by the river and the sun was out and I did my, uh, you know, like speaking to Mother Earth and I said, thank you and I, I love you. And I felt all this actually bliss, love, excuse me, come up my legs and into my my heart and my body that I just felt all this love. And then I, I said to Solaris, the sun, I said, thank you so much for, you know, what you do for us. And I felt all this energy coming down on my head. 
and I felt, and it was, it was just this love. And it was just, it, it was an incredible feeling of, of, of both coming up into me and communicating to me that way. Uh, so I just felt inclined to let you know that during this process, meaning ascension process, not the shutdown, lockdown, uh, that more and more we are receiving light codes, we are receiving ascension codes to upgrade our physical bodies and move more out of the density uh, of darkness and more into a higher uh, creator uh, part of us, a uh, higher God part of us, Christ consciousness part of us, where we will start to feel the freedom, we will start to feel the fulfillment from within us. And we will not have a need for anything outside of us. And um, I think I'll just keep it at that, except for it is incredibly healing to connect with Mother Earth, and you can do it inside uh, or outside, and you can lay on the ground, and you can ask her to help you with quieting the ego mind. You can speak to the sun, asking for the sun to help you to regenerate the cells in your body, because many people live, truly live, off of the light of the sun breatharians off of the air because they understand they've gotten to a level of consciousness that they understand that they're already one with all of this and that it's really God uh, whatever name nameless one uh, God has many names that that is who we are and that is who feeds us and that who's is who gives us the breath of life and gives us love, uh, give us, gives us everything that we need. And as I s start to say all of that, I have all this energy just coming in all around me because the Creator, the Presence, the Omnipresence, Omnipotence is us, is living within us and living all around us. And the only reason why most people may not feel it is because of the ego. The ego is the separator. It makes us believe that we're just a human, that we're separate from one another, and or that we're not worthy to fully awaken to the truth, that we are already one with the absolute creator of consciousness, and that there is no us, there is no me, there is no you, it is only God living in everything and everyone. So I just wanted to share that with you and I hope you're well and I hope uh, you are able to discover the richness and the depth of your true self from within you. Peace and blessings.